be Imperial Fist Samus. Still advancing and firing on the enemy strong point. Go to take another step forward. Get staggered by large explosion behind me. Nearly fall forward before regaining balance. Look back over my shoulder. Our trenches took a nearly direct hit from a sizable E round. The shock collapsed several tunnels running under the area. They must be siege tunnels from some point earlier in the conflict. Wounded marines pull each other from the dirt. Apothecaries are trying to get to all those two injured to help themselves. Return to suppressing the mini stronghold. Click. Row. Ammo sure does go fast when one is purging the enemies of man. Switch back to my bolt gun. Step into another collapsed tunnel as I advance. It's mostly filled in with dead guardsmen and traitors. Spot a struggling trooper pinned in the mess. Yank them out by the back of their flak armor. Reach back into the mess of bodies. Pull out the first weapon I feel. The Armageddon pattern auto gun from a deceased steel legionnaire. Shove it into the trooper's arms along with a bandolier. The emperor isn't done with you yet stick by my side and you may yet survive. Cycle the action on my bolt gun and climb out of the pit. Be mutant guardsmen. A bunch of corpse worshippers literally just fell into our hole keeping us safe. We've lost the front trenches by the looks of this. This revelation gives us a rush or fear infused adrenaline. We gather our weapons, ammo, and wounded worth bringing with us. The newbie corn cultist takes the empty role of command and just tells us to scatter and try to make it to the back trenches in one piece. We then scramble out of the pit like rats and run for the back trenches in a tactical retreat just as the autogon user gets to where the sandbags used to be. Most get picked off by bolt of fire as we run. There are tanks everywhere. Ours and theirs blasting each other to bits and ramming each other with reckless abandon. A section of trench get blown into an open crater by a massive tank. Eardrums feel like they got punched by Ogren. At least the ruined tanks give some cover against the crossfire of last fire and bullets whizzing by. A lot of us get killed. Those wounded too much to run are left to die. The red colored beacon corn cultist has yet to be shot somehow despite his armor being as bright as it can possibly be. Lucky bastard. By the grace of Tsinj. Us lucky few heretics managed to make it to the trenches. Thank you bird god. Crow. After handing off what weapons I could carry to some weaponless comrades, I take a breather and get to treating my few untreated broken bones as best as I can. If I'm lucky I can actually get a splint from a medic. We are very much fucked if more supplies are delayed again. B Road Trader Stan Imlhersen. Still limping towards the Grox Bridge in this disintegrating shuttle. Can't raise the local ATC. Chalk it up to shuttle comms damage. Getting closer, the city appears to have suffered severe battle damage with several parts still burning. It looks eerily deserted. Thick smoke from a burning Prometheum storage facility means our pilot doesn't notice the tower in front until it's too late. One of the left wings tears through the structure, and the craft enters an uncontrollable dive. The Ogrins are going to be squeezed sore after this. Shuttle finally plows into a courtyard that appears to be full of dirty bladed weapons, guns and cornet cultists. Talk about out of the frying pan. A couple more voidsmen were injured in the crash. We're now down to four voidsmen. The pilot Denarius, the two Ogrins, nicknamed Dickendom, and the outcast, Tolria. Encircling cultists open fire from all sides, pinning us in the wreckage. That's all they can do versus our return fire, since they're terrible shots. Notice the damaged tower is teetering above several intact Prometheum tanks. Concoct a plan that would make a sororitas proud. If only they were here to see this. Redirect most of the fire at the sole remaining support pillar, which slowly crumbles away. Deprived of structural integrity, the remains of the tower slowly topple onto the tanks, which immediately explode violently. The blast wild knocks everyone on their asses and shatters windows with a fireball visible for miles. And the sky is now raining burning Prometheum over the entire city district. Amid the chaos, the chaos forces dissolve into chaos. Oh, the irony, as they dive for cover against the falling sky, and in the carnage. To the sewer hatch move, 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 be Captain Victoria Appleton, Praetorian Bane Blade Commander. Watch as a large tower collapses after being struck by the crashing shuttle. 
Hopefully it was something important to the enemy. It won't be long now until we consolidate our position and push further towards the city. Be me. Cornered Tanker King. Haven a grand old time. Bessie the Bloodmobile holding like a beauty. Squishing gold spangled loyalists left right and dead center. Cannon lads haven a whale of a time. Blowing shit up. Engineer seems to be sticking his dick in an engine pipe. Always did think he was a slanoshi. Deal with that later. Comop is still screaming. Good on I'm. We've squished an orc or two as well. Good fun. Yet to see a tank though. Bugger me dot skulls. Suddenly, Comzop stops screaming. I have seen them the space marines. This gun be good dot blood. Lead by. A being most prideful. Kato Sicarius is he. Oh shit. Heard that bloke was a right wonka. A real shit face. Gala head mongrel ass drongo. A real cunt. Chart the coordinates and we're on our way with the rest of the column. Also, dunno what the other cornets re on about. Having a sicker is pretty useful. Just not for fighting with. Drive over a hill. See a real shit show. Tanks all over. Chaos ones. Loyal ones. Exploded ones. One that seems to be. Moaning. Fucking slanishy dot blood. Also, some yellow space marines are here. Crikey, is that Cadian bloke pointing at me? Didn't we blow those buggers up? Bloody oath. I think he just flicked us off. Full speed, yeah wongus. Thanks for the tank god. Be mutated guardsman. Be splinting my broken bones with makeshift materials. Beggars can't be choosers. Hear an explosion up high. Looking up I see our outpost I'll get blown to bits. Well that's not good. Wait, didn't we keep out tanks of Prometheum there? Next few seconds later, the tanks blow up. Somewhat blind and deaf from the explosion. Shockwave knocks me down onto my broken leg. Ow. Blurred vision is replaced with a fiery sky as the air goes hot. This is definitely going to result in another push. It's also raining burning fuel. Without hesitation I scramble for the tunnels to get to either an unburning gun nest or a semi-sane sicker who can hopefully make my wounded tentacles regrow. Or fix my fucked vision. Be Jasmine Guppen. Former Slanishy Bannerblade commander. Apparently the arch commander wasn't happy when I ignored his summons to battle. So he summoned a demon to pilot my tank instead. Now I am stuck watching a bunch of slaves loading supplies into a lorry. Boo lorry I I I I a lady of my breeding should not be wasting her time on tasks such as this. Suddenly a massive explosion knocks everyone off their feet. Something must have detonated the fuel storage depot a couple of blocks east. As I stumble back to my feet, I notice several of the slaves trying to flee as fast as their shackled limbs could carry them. Sigh. I pick up my cattle prod, yet another tedious task to deal with. B Trooper Monica Jernwick, 78th Rision Light Infantry. Get hauled out of pile of struggling bodies and handed an auto gun by a frigging space marine. Apparently he wants me to accompany him into battle. Technically this is just about the highest possible honor for a guardsman. But it doesn't change the fact that my body feels like I was just run over by a convoy of tanks. Wobble after the space marine as best as I can. Most of the enemy appear to have fled the area. But there is an enemy bane blade still causing havoc uncomfortably close by. I find myself missing my hole in the ground. It was a good hole, with nothing trying to kill me in it. Be me. Chaos undivided rear guard trooper. Barely throw myself into the cover of a bombed house before the burning fuel begins to fall. Put out a patch of fire on my pant leg. Some minor burns, but I'm still in fighting shape. Make a mental note to slow down and aim instead of just dumping ammo. Can't leave cover while it's literally raining fire. Fashion some bandages out of my undershirt to cover the burn wounds. I'll be a frontline trooper at the rate this shit show is going. Be Inquisitor Zeke. Still waiting for the Sisters of Battle and Grey Knight reinforcements. The plan is to deploy the Sister of Battle. Rat and its E100K backup in for support. The Grey Knights will be dropped behind enemy lines in the areas with most the warp activity. They are also to hide after they do their mission so they don't get found out. Grey Knights tend to kill everyone that knows about them and isn't with the Inquisition. Secrecy. Currently just watching the battle unfold even more. It was going well till the attack bogged down into trench warfare. 
tech priest informs me that the rat is ready for deployment but might take some time to reach the front lines upon deployment. Don't really care about that. Do care about the armament. The turret is outfitted with two long barreled Vulcan bolters. The front hull armament is a massive melter bomb launcher and for the turrets attached all over it are basic tank cannons or dual heavy bolters. The E100Ks on the other hand, pick related. Just gotta wait like maybe a day or a millennia based on how fucky the warp is in the vicinity of the planet. For the planet's name, the bureaucrats have been trying to agree on a name for it for nearly a millennia. Just gonna call it armored vehicle and weapons testing grounds. Be me. Imperial Fist Tactical Marine, Samus. The enemy's fortified bubble of resistance has been crushed. Pushing up the slope of the ridge to reunite with the armor. Moving a little slower than I normally would so the trooper can keep up. The cultists are all but mopped up on our side of the ridge. The orcs still pose a problem, but their aggressive nature should draw them towards the ridge. At the front, as opposed to our rear guard. Imperial troopers and some of the remaining astarts begin to finally push to the ridge. Most of the blueberries and my own brothers are tied up with the orcs, and recovering from that stray bane blade shell. This trooper seems to be holding up well. They do seem a little distracted though, probably nerves. Jump into a deep crater for cover as we near the top of the ridge. Kneel down to optimize protection and concealment. Look at the trooper. Brutal honesty is the best policy. Voxcast. There is nothing you or I can do about enemy armor with our current weaponry. Focus on the infantry, and pray that our friendly armor does its job as the Emperor intends. Hand them a spare frag. Now we do what the Emperor knows we do best. We hold this ground until relieved. May his strength of will be your own this day, trooper. Be me, sleepy guardsman. Wake up and see all the carnage and destruction has been brought closer to where I was sleeping at. Sneak away even further this time. Go back to sleep. The face when. Be commissar. Spot sleepy guardsmen having a sleep. Pull out bolt pistol. Put it on counter. Pull up some bed sheets. Take a nap. Commissary is a hard job some days. Be me. Sleepy guardsmen. Start tossing and turning mid sleep. Wake up to a beeping sound. Lean up and look down. Was sleeping on a mine the whole time and activated it. It explodes, sending me flying through the air. Land on top of a space marine's pauldron and get thrown down into a ravine. The face when, be me, melee charging tank commander Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Every fucking gun on this thing is firing. This is absolutely fantastic. We're steadily gaining ground now that we've got infantry support. The wall of guns is pushing like a bunch of Mathurfikas, Hyrcadians, Praetorians and Steel Legionaries, Rijans and other assorted units bellowing out battle cries as they charge. Practically wading through guardsmen as we approach, still pushing max speed. Guardsmen doing their best to avoid the charging Macherius Vanquisher. See Cornet's Knight Commander popped his head out of his at 83 Brigand Super Tank. Fuck yeah here we go. Yeah get over here and fight me in melee you bastard as loudly as I can if a heretic and at least understandable gothic. We seem to be maybe 100 meters away from each other. He might still have heard me, don't know. Oh yeah he heard me. Mathurfica stands up and takes out a chain axe. It's on now. We're speeding towards one another. Order gunner to load he and fire into chaos space marine in front of us. A path is cleared and guardsmen get the fuck out of the way for my tank. Feel like it's going faster. Oh yes yes it is. Can hear the tech priest praying like a Mathurfica in there. Tank is glowing. I think the machine spirit is in rape mode. Feel adrenaline pumping like never before. We're pushing 27k mph in this thing. Pretty sure the tech priest is nervously sweating. Another heretic tank cuts between us before we engage. Looks like he's going for Acadian. Here Ensign. Lock eyes with the commander for a moment. Guy immediately speeds past. Focus attention on the first night commander. Friedrich is still blasting loyalist metal. Pretty sure it's on every channel now. Pretty sure the guardsmen can hear it through their voxcasters. Currently blasting song I remember hearing before. Think it's called. Rex Regis Fortissimus Imperatoris. It's about an astarts called Sigismund and his deeds. It's mentioned that he used to be an imperial fist. 
pretty sure the Imperial Fists can hear the song. Wonder what they think about it. At the exact moment the song tells of how Sigismund personally slew 10,000 or more heretics in his crusade, our tanks are less than 10 meters away from each other. Speed of the fucking things is, for heavy tanks at least, extreme. As the knight commander raises his axe I bolt out of my commander's hatch. Grip Kaoskata with both hands. Shiskala leaps into the air at me axe raised. My face when, raise Kaoskata. Consider blocking his attack. Actually, you know what fuck that. Narrowly sidestep knight commander. He slams into the turret of my tank. He gets up in a flash and slams his axe into my cuirass. Dents it slightly and sends me staggering back. Fuck that hurt. I may have broken something. Probably not though. Got Kaiser willing. Fuck it. Cut his axe ear off before separating his head from his shoulders using Chaos Cutter. He's still smiling a couple seconds after his head flies off, after which his muscles relax. Right as his head flies off the song kicks into the part where Sigismund duels Abaddon and dies. Cough a bit as I wipe off my sword and climb back into hatch. Pretty sure I heard the skull smash into what I can only assume to be a space marine's pauldron. Hear Sigismund's last sick roast be recited as I order my tank to load big dick tank destroyer rounds. Fuck me that was sick. The insult, that is. Ponder for a second whether or not that actually even happened as tank stops glowing and tech priest breaths out a sigh of relief. Be mutated guardsmen, be watching the ruined city burn from an underpass along with some other cultists. The heat is nearly unbearable. It's going to be burning for quite a while. We go into a small underground room to play cards for a bit. That plan is quickly shot down once we find the deck of cards is ruined by fire. Well, guess like we're not doing anything. After a while one suggests we try performing rituals. Sounds okay but we don't have shit to do one properly. So we end up resting and waiting for the fires to die down. B Trooper Monica Jernwick, 78th Vision Light Infantry. The Space Marine has taken an unusual amount of interest in my well-being, to the point where I feel I might be hallucinating the whole thing. Who know what goes through the head of a literal demigod angel of death though. We are currently hunkered down in a crater, waiting to repel the inevitable enemy counter-attack. I am feeling strangely detached, probably because my mind has been overwhelmed by what has occurred since I first charged over the trench. It also feels strange being in a tactically advantageous position for once. Who knows, I may finally get the chance to kill something, be mutant guardsmen, have a good rest as the Prometheum starts to burn out. Still hot, but safe enough to get to a different building. We head back to the trenches. Crispy bodies are scattered everywhere. Surprised we haven't gotten hit with a massive counter-attack. Guess they're taking a breather as well. I reach for my canteen and have a drink of some water. Looking at my tentacles and broken body, I decide to try my luck with getting some more helpful mutations by some cult psychias. As I make my way to where the sick is usually I watch as many mortar and some bolter emplacements get set up. This trench isn't going to last if we don't get emplacements that can take out a tank or more tanks. Find the mostly intact building where the sickers tend to do their summonings and such. A few of them are still in here as well. They're excited for someone willing to participate in their mutation ritual. Bad feeling jpeg. Whatever I need something better than useless broken limbs. Go along with them and hope for the best as they start. Be Corporal of the Steel Legion Mechanized Infantry, riding on top of a Cadian Lemon Rust Command Tank. Chimera destroyed hours ago by a mutilator in the last battle against the traitors, stuck with a random assortment of surviving soldiers and vehicles. Long since lost contact with Steel Legion Regimental HQ, taking orders from the Cadian Tank Commander and an incredibly pissed off Commissar. Such a clusterfuck it doesn't even matter. Not even Cadians know where we are or what's going on around us, just trying to move toward the sound of fighting and hopefully find friendlies. There's fighting all around us. Vox suddenly picks up a transmission on a friendly channel. Someone blasting metal. It's some thing. Data slate. Tech priests start trying to work out where it's coming from. Suddenly hear a vanguard report in. We are apparently behind enemy lines. Chaos shits are in such poor order we didn't even notice. 
enormous mass of traitors coming our way from the east to reinforce some running battle west of us, including vehicles and heretic starts. Road runs north to south. Tank commander tells drivers to gun it, scouts to come back to the column, too late. Some scouts report in contact with the enemy. Others start tearing in at top speed a short amount of time later. Commander rushes us to the top of a hill, orders us to dig foxholes and put vehicles in hull down positions. Commissar wants us to keep trying to join friendlies. Open argument between him and the Cadian commander, they are both yelling so loud half the unit can hear them. Half the unit is digging in, everyone else getting ready to keep driving, everyone listening nervously. Commissar calls the commander an inexcusable incompetent and a coward and raises his bolt pistol. Commander pulls his knife. My face when crisis in command, be me. Chaos undivided rear guard trooper. The rain of fire stopped, plenty of stuff still burning, but at least I can leave my cover. Look around the rubble of the courtyard. Fuck this I'm going to the front. It is a surprisingly short walk to our current trench line. Carve a small shelter for one out of the back wall of the trench. Leave most of my gear in the hole, only keeping my weapon and ammo on me. Rest my orthogon on the edge of the trench as I watch the ridge. Light an old LHO stick with the flame from a tiny puddle of still burning fuel. Normally it'd hurt the flavor but these things are nasty to begin with, be me. Da walkie stalk in dust actor, free boot a erko of dakamark. Zoginal, this in is great. Well, not so much given as is stuck in da groan at da moment. Zogin Yumi's fell on me and the boys as we was about to cop those Cheo's boys. Finally get me Zogin at OWT da groan, Dak is flying everywhere. Away from us, Zogin L. Pull bomber out from under one of the dead Yumi, gun for sticks is head up and we pull I'm OWT, figure we should go to where da Dak is most. In Uva words, da flamin crat are nearby. Real is I don't have a Zogin shooter again. Tell Gunfu and Bomber to start Dawag without me. Is needs a shooter and is needs it now. Bomber and Gunfu run lick a bunch of speed freaks to Durakage. Da Yumi's are too focused on Dacheo's boys to spot us. Notice a yellow jit and a smell of Yumi in a Dakohal. Wait, that Yumi has a shooter I could nick. Run for Da smell of Yumi in Da crater, but make Mork proud by doing it all sneaky lick. Then I do it right orky by copping that jit into the mud fear they can do zog bout it. Grab da shooter, then remember how durable that gub and jit was. Ah zog it, back up club as ain't a bad thing. Grab da yumi and hit the yellow jit and duff phase. Then run for da boys and da big zogin batch till going on. Wait for me ya zogin jits. Da yumis never expect da walkish free booters. From B industrial anyways, they look shocked as me and da boys run past disc jits. Is is gonna get into da big scrap a had, a new jits ain't stopping me. Spot da grumpy blue jit from B for, throw da yumi a time, e only notices when da yumi itz i'm on da back a da ed, is laughing something good now. However, that scrap needs to be more orky. Keep firing da car da burn in town, some chaos boys are in dear. They even kept da mud all nisses and burny for domba, a walkie of em. Me and da boys run into da nearest building. As we prepare to run at da chaos boys singing a song for gork and mork. Gun for yells or a boss. Look at this place. I look at I'm and sweet gas kills shooter. There is daka everywhere. There is daka tape to daka. There is choppers tape to shooters. An ITZ all disorganized. Just tell me and gun for lick it. Me and gun for grab everything we can grab as bomber helps us tear tummy body for backup daka. Can never be too careful in this batch chill. As I get a good look at this bounty of a shooter with two daka mags tape tojava. Notice a big zogin tank or something in the back of the building. I read it cause this has dust marts of the boys. Prop. Me. Fee. Um. Bomber lux tummy with a spark in his ears. They have Bernie Jews boss. E runs to da tank for love Bernie Jews and starts trying to pick it up. Me and gun for laugh cuz ITZ2 zogin big for that. Bomber lux tummy and asks IVE can take it to the ship with the big mech's teleporter. Tell I'm to hurry up. This scrap is right zogin gun. E grabs his wiaggy talkie and yells to da big mech back on the ship to get him and his tank of Bernie Jews up there. 
Bomber and a tank vanish in a flash of red orky lasers. One by what me and Gunfa should do in the meanwhile. Spot a cheers boy from that bunker beef a trying to get into another building. His leg looks right zogginerty. Me and Gunfa look to each other as we step outside the building with symbols on our faces. Our zogging phase is when. I get the rocket launcher is found in the deck of steerage. Fear it into the building. Throw down the launcher cause it only add one bit of boomy daka with it. Pull OWT me new shooters. Gun for grabs his new choppers. We run for the yumis. We're dot wag. Be me. De grottiest grot in the whole sector. Grinzy de grot. Me day just gets better and better. And by that I mean I wish I'd have stayed with the big mech on the ship. Managed to crawl into the gubbins of this shuttle the boss threw me at. Can still hear the Yumi's below me. Day sound zogged. Really as me stabber got dropped when his got thrown at the as I hear a zog in big crash. The Yumi's below sound even more zog now. My face when. Zog at this coppin ain't worth it. Curl into a ball. Cry me grotty tears of pain and suffering. I O H P the Yumi's don't find me air. Be me. Squad leader of the 14th Lancaster's Marauder Squadron of the Praetorian Air Force, Arthur Ignis and Noct Harris. I and my fellow squadmates are currently sitting around doing bugger all since the battle nearby is too full of tanks and he rounds for the squad to safely fly in without getting bombed into a pile of scrap. As I'm enjoying my mid-afternoon cuppa, Charles rushes up to me to deliver the latest news from the front. Tells me how some nitwit crashed his shuttle into the nearby town of Groxbridge and apparently blew up several tanks of Prometheum. Oh. Wait they did what? My face when. Someone wasted some perfectly good tanks of his majesty's finest heretic repellent. Now that's just not cricket. Someone needs to pay for this, and I know exactly. Summon the rest of the Lancaster squadron and order the lot of them to pile into their marauder bombers and load up with as many incendiary bombs as their aircraft can carry. In a matter of 10 minutes everyone has a bomber full of incendiaries. We pile into our bombers and prepare to make the heretics who wasted that Prometheum regret the day they came within carpet bombing distance of the PF. As the squad approaches the now shell of a town that was once Crocs Bridge, I can finally see who was responsible. A particularly daft rob trader confused crash landing with an attempt to land his shuttle in the middle of a heretic infested town. Not only that, there's a bunch of bally orcs down there. By jove, this'll be two birds with one stone. Yell my orders through the voxes of various bomb bays of myself and the lads of the five bombers that made it to the battle open up with menacing intent. Our payloads drop down and carpet the town in the wondrous flaming light of his majesty the emperor. Miss several buildings, such as one that I could have sworn was beginning to grow a few tentacles. Nigel's bombs go right off and end up landing somewhere near some Kriegers. I mean they might be loonies but they're on outside unitwit. The squadron moves further away from the battle so that we can get turn around and give those heretic scoundrels the what for. Our faces when, B road trader Stan Imlhausen, make a break for the sewer hatch as the sky starts to fall. Tolria is first down, and the stream of angry high tongue suggests there's something nasty down there. Around ricochets off my top hat and Dom takes one to the leg. He doesn't seem to care, from some brave cultists. You, my beautiful robes and boots are getting splashed and shit. Immense relief as Donarius closes the hatch behind us. Quick head count. 9, including me. Good. Realize we have no fucking idea where we are in this labyrinth. And it's really dark down here. Go in the direction we think is towards the spaceboat. We need a new shuttle. Theft is such an ugly word. Sewer soon gives way to what appears to be an underground rail line. Tunnel vibrates every so often. And thus falls and makes my robes even dirtier. They're probably shelling the city or something to take advantage of the confusion. Air coming through the vents feels warm. Like lots of things are still on fire up above. To be honest. It's probably safer down here. Let's keep moving though. We could be being followed but I doubt the cultists are smart enough to do that. The Imperial Fist's tactical marine. Samus. Watching the heretics lines from my crater on the ridge. Hear someone thunder up the ridge behind me. Assume it's a fellow marine coming to the front. A fucking orc tackles the trooper next me. It disarms them and proceeds to use them and a melee weapon. The trooper ragdolls off of my armor. 
It's like being hit with a stiff pillow full of bones and organs. Good thing they were wearing flak armor. They're probably only in a deal of pain. The orc takes off running for the enemy lines. Watch as it throws the trooper at Kato Sicarius. When and why did he get into no man's land? Hear a low, rumbling, droning sound. A squadron of marauders coming in for a pass. Let the orc run into their path of destruction. Watch as eruptions of burning white phosphorus riddle the destroyed town. Others fall on the enemy line and into no man's land. One marauder was off target. Listen to the screams of Krieg infantry being burned alive 50 meters or so along the ridge from my position. The penance they need but not the one they deserved. Close air support. At this rate, with how far we push the line, we are going to need reinforced and resupplied. Luckily the heretics seem to be in equally shit condition. On the upside the orc incursion does currently seem more interested in the heretics for now. Hopefully my brothers manage to recover, regroup, and push up to the ridge soon. Be mutated guardsmen. Ritual to gain more mutation went about okay I'd say. Tentacles that were severed somewhat grown back. One ends in a bony point. Another has a mouth that whispers to me in a language I cannot understand. The final one just ends into a ball of eyes. Teeth went sharp and jagged and are growing around my mouth. Broken leg snaps open as a new leg comes forth to somewhat replace the broken one. Get covered with some more eyes. All of which that can't see for shit out of. For last part, my unbroken arm practically melt away and is replaced multiple tentacles that are only good for grabbing a lot of small things at once. This pain wasn't good but it was worth it. PNG. Get branded with the mark of Tsinch just for good luck. Pretty sure the bluish burn mark is moving. Thank them and walk to the trenches to man a bolt a gun or two. Ex-commissar captain finds me and stations me at the front of the trenches for when they corpse worshippers arrive. I hurry off immediately as to not risk the disciplinary action of getting shot he uses so much. At the trenches I find a small container of rations for us bastards stuck out here and have a lunch break. Mortars are firing off a barrage to pepper the enemy infantry at our last position. Wonder when we'll get more tanks. B Steel Legion Corporal. Commander just stabbed the Commissar. Didn't penetrate his carapace armor. Commissar explodes his chest with a bolt round at point blank. Commissar assumes command. Our faces when. Meanwhile shit continues to go down all around us. A few squadrons of marauders flew by in the distance and dropped incendiary somewhere over the horizon. Can see the glow of the fires from here. Fighting is moving closer. Basic fighting positions dug out. Commissar takes all of this in for a moment. We make our stand here men emperor with us. We will send the traitor screaming back into the warp. Are you fucking serious dot slate? Nothing for it. Get back to digging. Much faster now that everyone is working. Traitors finally arrive. Huge mob of foamer civvies and random PDF deserters take the lead. Open fire on the exposed heretics with our lasguns. Vehicles conserving their ammo. Cry goes up among the heretics. They start taking pot shots at us and charging up the hill. Chaos marines and enemy armor coming into view now. Russes blow the front most to bits but there's still a shitload of them down there and they're starting to return fire. Be me. Imperial Fist Brother Sergeant Jerry and Paulicus. Rushing across the corpses of guardsmen and traitorous starts with my battle brothers. Tanks are blowing up around us. Can see the sky above has become quite cloudy. Battle Brother Samus is in a small hole with a wounded guardsman. Current objective is to eliminate the enemy commander. Can see glimpses of him and cockhole shit carious dueling. As I'm running towards him a decapitate skull slams into my left pauldron. Turn only to see an armored vehicle painted red driving towards me. Real back power fist. Slam it into the right side of the tank. See it buckle under the energy field and grind to a halt. Continue marching on as Kriegers board the tank followed by traitors screaming. Battle brothers firing on traitors in front of us. Sicarius and the Terminator champion seem to be standing in a small clearing. No one wants to go near the two superhumans fighting. As I approach a guardsman. Or perhaps, Guid's woman flies over my head. Slams into the back of Sicarius. He staggers forward a little. Hear the Chaos Terminator laughing as he raises his twisted heretical power hammer. Rush forward with other battle brothers as marauder bombers was overhead. One of us seems to have gotten a bit ahead. 
see him strike and lock blades with the power hammer as Krieg is about 86 meters away from us a lit on fire. The champion fires his storm bolter into the brother's chest. He's sent flying back, likely severely wounded. As I'm perhaps only 2 meters away from the champion I see Sicarius stab him through the neck the champion staggers up and gurgles. Ah uh hi, Kato Sicarius, second captain of the Ultramarines, master of the watch, knight champion. As Sicarius is busy gloating see the champion drop his heavy bolter, grip the blade of the power sword and slam his heretical thunder hammer into Sicarius chest. Here Sicarius coughing in surprise as he's sent flying. The champion lets out a low gurgling laugh as he rips the blade out of his throat. Battle Brothers hosing him down with bolt of fire. Charges directly at me. In response I raise my plasma pistol and fire directly into his helmet. Hear him grunt in pain as the plasma washes over his left eye. He raises his hammer and swings it at me. Grab it by the hilt using my power fist. Can hardly hold it up. See him gripping it with both hands. Can feel the earth behind me begin giving way. Holster plasma pistol and grab onto handle with both hands. Still sinking into the earth. Other battle brothers charge. One of them picks up Sicarius blade. Chaos champion lets go of his weapon with his left hand and unleashes a torrent of warp lightning into my battle brothers. As he does this, notice something. A Krieger with a crack grenade is running towards the champion. He attempts to jump up and stick it to the champion's helmet. However, the champion turns and slams his fist into his head, instantly crushing it. See crack grenade fly out of his hand. Clearly see that those are magnetic clamps. Move out of the way of the swing and let go of power hammer. Attempt to roll away from explosion. Succeed. Here terminate a champion screaming in pain as his armor is blasted open. Currently on the ground. See brother Samus in the distance approaching. Shout for him to fire into the chaos champion. My face when can hear Commissar shouting for his men to defend their positions and we aren't even there to help them properly fortify. Be me. Da walkies talk in Dus actor. Free boot a erko of Dakamark. Dis attack on Dutch Eos boys is going better by da minute. Some Yumi Fli boys popped in Tussay Elo. And left so many Bernie gifts too. Shame Bomber wasn't there to see it. I think he may've shed a tear at Dussy it of it. Gun for mean will is avian a right laugh chopping up some right pansy yumis with word outfits. As I use up me latest shooter, there is an of a flash of orky red lit. Zoginel. Dat was fast. Bombas backen. Sweet mork dat cart he has. He's sitting in a cart with a burner on the front. Da burner juice has been moved into an of a smaller tank connected to da burner. And da cart even as an orky banner on da back. Pick related. As me and Gunfire are looking at this marvel of orkiness, Bomber gets our attention. Or Yajits, this cart won't shove itself. Me and Da boys smill when he says that. Ask Bomber what he's nam in his new weapon. Da barbuci Well I tease it not that was no Me and Gunfire get be industrial Da barbuci as we look for an of a jits to get in a scrap with. Find Grenzi Kaur in Lick Azogin Elder and Da Rukage of Dozumis from Bifa. Grab da little jit and instruct I'm to keep an eye on da fill and da refills when it runs OWT. With our on Chirag in full strength fun now. Spot an of the right zog in tough jit down da lil. Some cheers boys fighting with those space marines. Me and da boys loop to reach of up. We all grin like a commander Nobuo just pulled a sneaky trick on his warbus. Me and Gunfa get behind da cart. Start shoving to the ilsaid. We all start rolling down towards the space marines. Time to announce our arrival. We're our our ag. The Imperial Fist Tactical Marine, Samus. Holding out in my crater. A number of my brothers arrive. Good now we can fortify this ridge. They keep charging. Guess we can fortify later. Sergeant brother Jerry and Paul Lucas is leading them. Ready my bolt gun and join them in the advance. Kato Shatarius just got yeeted on by the enemy champion. Watch as Paul Lucas and a few of my brothers engage the champion. Closing the distance between me and the melee when there's an explosion. Paul Lucas is on the ground and the champion is reeling. Brother Sergeant orders me to fire. Look back to the champion. The blast has opened a soft spot in his armor. Start advancing and firing like I have been doing all day. Some of my shots crash into his armor. Others manage to find the weakness, 
sending out clouds of crimson. Chuck a frag at his feet. It staggers him back even further. Use the chance to reload and continue my barrage. Don't let up until I'm standing over him and his chest is reduced to a lump of ground grox meat. Turn back to recover brother sergeant. Be steel legion corporal. Pin down in foxhole taking heavy enemy fire. Cultists aren't doing much, but traitor or not a starts know their business. Rishan private next to me gets her head exploded by a bolter shell. Heavy stubber position a bit farther down the hill nearly zeroed by chaos predator. Front end of nearby lemon rus completely slagged, but it's still firing all of its guns non-stop. Its commander has to call out directions for the battle cannon from the top hatch. Lost track of the commissar but can hear him yelling like a ministorum priest and trying to coordinate the defenses. We are so fucked. Meanwhile the cultist charge faltered. Crazy ones mowed down. Survivors now taking whatever cover they can find. They still can't shoot for shit. Have to focus on them anyway because LAS guns won't do shit against power armor. Have to let our armor and few heavy weapons. Mostly pintle mounted guns pulled off of tanks. Do the work. Traitors know this and focus fire on them. Too many traitors to properly suppress. They're paying for it, but they're slowly whittling us down. Be me. Da walkie stalk in da sector. Free boot a erko of dakamark. Old in on ta duck art feeling lick a speed freak. Me shoot as fire in bits a dakar in ta da big chaos you me as gun fa froz some bombs at any jit so oh look at us funny. Bomber ming will is turn in you me as in ta burn in mulch with his new and improved burner. As we approach da big chaos jit. On of da space marines ends up knocking da jit down. My face when. Oil. Dat jizz was mine. Da Yumi turns around. Ahahaha. <laughs> now you've done it. Is getting revenge for nicking me crumpins. Me and Gunfire start spraying Dakar at Dungeon to get his attention. He just ducks fuck of our lick an elder. As we're about to get to that jit and show I'm wired for. Da Big Cheers boy gets up. Zoginel. Dis jit's a right champ. Guesses will be crumpin' I men. Bomber shoots his flammers in Ta Da Big Cheers boy. E starts screaming in da flames as Duckheart crashes into time. Now's me chance. I jump out of Duckheart into that jit and start kicking and punching I'm right and proper. I mean, E was already beaten by da Yumi's but he's still putting up a fight. E punches one of me TFOWT as we both tussle in da mud. Oi I need that yajit. Punch I'm Ada, grab me tooth from da mud and stick it in me mouth Fagan. Pull OWT a bomb and stick it in Dungeon's stunned mouth. Shove da cart OWT da way as they keep shooting at da Yumi's in every direction. Jump off da Cheo's boy as his head explodes in a show of red. Feels lick our mudjed and all over Hagen dot wag. B road trader Stan Imlhausen. Still walking in this damnable tunnel. I'm covered in dust by this point, and the crew is miserable. Pray to the Emperor for a ride to get us out of here. Suddenly, the third rail crackles to life and almost electrocutes a voids man and the outcast. I really am picking up a lot of elder swear words from this woman. Whooshing and thumping noise rises behind, promptly replaced by a deafening screech of engaging emergency brakes. Automated subway train grinds to a stop meters from running us all over. Who am I to refuse the Emperor's miracle climb aboard, while leaving a voidsman in front of the proximity sensors? All aboard dot choo choo. Voidsman steps out of the way and jumps on as the train moves forward. Things are finally looking up a bit. Soon as I sit down, there's movement a few cars down. Quite a bit of movement. Let's investigate, shall we? B fleet base chapter. Overstrength because fuck you. I do what I want. Hive world facing a gene stealer cult uprising. Unleash the angels of death. Start smashing heads. Main Hive fleet arrives. Defeat it with my fleet but suffer heavy casualties. About done with the gene stealers. A second Hive fleet arrives. Goddamn that is a huge fucking Hive fleet. Annihilates the rest of my fleet and lands on the planet. After a long ass battle managed to fully drive the Tyranids off the world with the help of Imperial Guard reinforcements. Chapter down from 1200 to 63 marines. 95% casualties. Decide fuck it and promote all of the survivors, keeping the 10 companies structure. 10 companies of 6 marines each, chapter master, master of sanctity, and master of the forge. 
claim Hive World as my new home world since it is fucked and I have no fleet anyway. Be mutant guardsmen. Apparently our counterattack on them is going well so far, and I'm now being placed into a shock troop squad of other fellow mutants. Good to hear some good news. Ex Commissa leads me and a few squads or mutants with varying degrees of mutation back to our armory to get some better weapons and equipment. Apparently there's also orcs there as well. Pray to Tsinch they're all dead by the time we get their dot warp. The Imperial Fist Tactical Marine, Samus. Helping up brother Sergeant Paulicus. Take a burst of weapons fire in the back. Duck into the cover of a nearby crater. Turn back to see an orc go all out on the still living champion. They tumble down into another crater and out of sight. A few seconds later there's an explosion of red. The orc charges out of the crater. Watch from cover with brother Sergeant Paulicus as the headless corner terminator stands up out of the crater a few moments later. It is now attacking anything and everything nearby regardless of alliance. Warp fuckery and blood spurting from its neck. Double check my bolt gun and look to Paulicus. He's not too scuffed up all things considered. Thank you.